Welcome back to Educator.com's Adobe Premiere Elements 11 training course. And this course is all about transitions. Or this video is all about transitions. Uh, the first thing we want to know is why use transitions? Well, transitions are letting you go from one scene to another or in the case I'm going to show you here, going from one picture to another in a slideshow. And it's um, letting you make it so it's not just an abrupt, uh, quick change from one scene to another. As you'll be watching, watching a show, and it'll, instead of just halfway through the scene, it just cuts and goes to a commercial. It'll actually fade out, telling you, Hey, this is the end of this scene. Get ready for the next thing that's coming up. Or it'll fade in, letting you get accustomed to where this new scene is going to be uh, taking place. So that's why you would use a transition. So everything is in a cut, 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 cut. Because certain transitions are used for certain very specific reasons. Um Let's go over some of the video transitions. And you might be wondering, what are the most used transitions? Well, here I have a bunch of pictures. Uh, looks like about 12 of them or so, maybe 10, of uh, one of the students in a class that I had uh, named Elena. And... Uh, we're going to add some transitions between these pictures. Now we're in expert mode right now. Let's switch over to quick, quick mode. And then, uh, you can see we have these images here. And then between it, there's an empty space between all of these, uh, pictures. And we want to add some transitions. Now, since we're in the, uh, quick view, we're going to, it's going to uh, accumulate all of the most used transitions and put them in our transitions list. And here are the ones, the 16 most used transitions that um, editors use when they are putting together video. And some of them more than others. Dip to black, uh, dip to white, and cross dissolve. And just a, a transition that's not here because it's already on the timeline is the cut. Those are the four most used transitions in video editing. And the cross dissolve and the dip to black are the two most used, uh, other than the straight cut. The actual transition here is one that's used, uh, most often. So we have two pictures here and we want to dissolve between them. I'm just going to grab the, the transition here, just click and hold it and just drag it down. So the green, uh, the green bar shows up between these two, uh, pieces here. And we can tell it how long we want the transition to be, which is one second. Each of these pictures here is made to go for 10 seconds. So uh, we want one second between it. We can actually put it up to two seconds. That'll give us a better, slower dissolve. And then we want alignment. And we can have it do most of the less left clip and then end at the cut. Or we can do it between the clips, which is what we would normally do. Or we can do it on the right side of the clip. Um, we're just going to do it between clips. And we also have a more here that will let us actually see how it's going to look. You can see it's going to go from A and over two second time it's going to fade to, to B. It's going to cross dissolve. So we'll go ahead and click done. Now let's go take a look at how that's going to look. So we'll come up here and we'll hit play. And you can see that it's slowly dissolving over, over two seconds to the other, the next picture.
Now let's put a couple more transitions in here. Let's do uh, barn doors is pretty uh, bizarre. I've never used it. Uh, checkerboard, I've never used that one in an actual real video project. Um, curtain, I've never used that one in an actual real video project. And um, let's do uh, dip to white, which I've actually used. And we'll use dip to black, which I've actually used. And then finally, let's use uh, zoom trails, which I've never used ever my entire time I've ever been doing it, video editing. So let's go ahead and select these ones and get rid of them because we don't need them anymore. And we're going to go through and click render just so we have a cleaner looking uh, video to watch and you will see all of these different transitions and they're all set to two seconds by default because we changed the default on this first one and it ripples down as you add more it'll do whatever the last thing was so we have these transitions coming up let's go ahead and watch here's the first one and it's just a nice slow dissolve and then we have the second one which I think was the let me see what it is here oh the barn doors which I've never used ever Um I think this one is the checkerboard and you notice yeah I've never used that one either and then I think this one is the uh, the flapping whatever it was the the curtains and then we have uh, dip to white, dip to black, and then um, I think the spin out or something like that. But I've actually used the dip to white, the dip to black, and the cross dissolve. But as you can see, when we watch the other ones, they do kind of get kind of cheesy after a while. And you don't really want to, I mean, unless it's a whimsical type uh video you don't really want to to use some of these uh really cheesy just just watch a regular movie or a tv show and you'll notice that they don't have any of those checkerboard or uh curtains opening or any of that they just stick to the four main uh types of uh transitions so uh if you want to see all of the transitions, go to expert mode. And now let's say we have this transition in here and we want to change it. Now in expert mode, let me just click and drag this up so we can get, I'm just going to do show all. And these are all of the transitions that are available in this uh, program in Premiere Elements and as you can see it has quite a few uh, transitions so if we have one here and we want to replace it we can just take say zigzag boxes and just drag and drop it right there and we replaced it on the timeline so let's go ahead and You can see we just replaced it just by dragging and dropping on the timeline. Now let's say we go, oh, I don't like that one. Let me get rid of that one. You just click it and hit delete, and it gets rid of that transition. Let me expand that out a little so you can see it a little better. Let me, you just click on the little space between it and hit delete. And then it just goes to a straight cut transition, as you can see there. So, um, Transition actually pretty easy to use. Uh, it does add a little bit of interest, but um, try to stick with some basic transitions. If you're if you're using uh, a certain transition between your scenes, like um, like the uh, spiral boxes or the pinwheel, and that's kind of your signature uh, transition. Just keep using it, but don't use other transitions. If you're looking for a polished look, just uh, the dissolve, the cross dissolve, and the uh, the uh, 
dip to black and dip to white. Those three, other than the straight cut, are the three you're going to use. But the audio transitions uh, are much more limited. It's just because it's just audio. It's not moving any of the um, the uh, video around. And let's look at the audio transitions. You notice we have two uh, two um, uh, transitions here for audio. We have constant gain and constant power. Um, and you can see this one has a gray box around it. That is the the default. Uh, transition. If we choose this one as the default, it'll have the gray thing bar around it. But constant power is um, the one you're probably going to use the most because if you use constant gain and you have one audio is going down and the other audio is going down, there's going to be a dip right in the middle where it, it doesn't really match up. So it, your audio just kind of dips down a little. But if you use constant power, it's going to maintain the amount of audio all the way through that transition and it'll make it a much cleaner sound on your on your video. So as you can see, we only have two audio transitions. Um, we have mo many, many video transitions. I haven't even counted all of them. I mean, there's probably like 70, 80 of them here. And again, you you just want to use a few of them. Uh, you might find a signature one that you use all the time, but um, most of the time, a professional project, you're going to use dissolve, dip to black, dip to white, and a cut, a straight cut. So that was all about transitions. I mean, go in and and put a bunch in and see how they look. And if you like one, hey, just use it. If not, uh, just stick to the, the main ones. And you can find the ones that are used the most by when you go into uh, quick edit mode. These are the ones that are used the most. So that kind of tells you that um, you can see none of these are just really crazy, kooky types of transitions. So... Uh, just don't use too many and, uh, have fun throwing a bunch in, just seeing how they look, but then get rid of them because it's very distracting. So that was all about transitions. Hope you come back for our next video here on educator.com and I'll see you then. Thank you.